What up, ladies and gentlemen? It's Matt. There's Father. In my glory. In all of his glory. You know what I've done today? I've done the dishes. I've done my laundry. I have cleaned my room. I cleaned the kitchen countertops. Hey, Father, out of curiosity, uh, what did you get done today? I swept the living room floor and I planned out the rest of our lives. <laughs> <laughs> To more than I can be. I just want to live and love my family. I just want to live and love my friend. What happened to my plans? What happened to the good old days? Why do we gotta worry so damn much? Why can't we be adult kids at heart? What do we do it all for anyway? What can I do to get them to jump? How do I live without the ones I love? How do I elevate us all to get us free? I just wanna roll around laughing. I just wanna live for fun. Why do I gotta conform? Why do we gotta not do what we want? Why can't we work together to build today? Why do we always gotta worry about tomorrow? Why do we gotta be so selfish? Let's just live without worry. Take my hand, it'll be alright. Can I get you to get on this plane? Can I get you to raise your hand and pledge that we're gonna live lit? Lick a flame, I'll be your torch. We can hang out on my porch. I just carry me and I'll lit the way. Let's live to play, not on another day. Friends and family got. Friends and family go at the money. The careers and the rat race. It's in the damn way. And I'll burn a million dollars any day Just to earn it all back with the family To earn it all back with my best friend To tear down this wall, government can burn it all But when I do it, it's a crime What happened to living for fun? Great things can be done, we can be free Why can't they see what I see? I just wanna own fun things Just each and every day Friends and family go at the money, the careers and the rat race. It's in the damn way, and I'd burn a million just to earn it all back with the family. To earn it all back with my best friend. To tear down this wall, government can burn it all. But when I do it, it's a crime. On social media, what are threats to our liberty? Mike Lee's tweeted, the biggest threat is government taking more of my hard-earned money to use as others see fit? Good point, Mike. As government grows and takes more of our money, we are less free because we can't spend on things we think are important. Of course, politicians say every dollar we take from you is used for something essential. But that's nonsense. The General Accounting Office recently said the Department of Homeland Security spent $3 billion on salaries for government employees who never showed up for work. How do you find the waste? file open records requests for uh, budgets, uh, we look at audits, um, we look at uh, just contracts and, and government credit cards. In Tennessee, I remember one time I found that uh, a mayor had bought his mistress uh, lingerie from Victoria's Secret using government credit cards. Recently, Senator McCain and Flake came out with a report about paid patriotism. Since uh, 2013, seven million dollars of our tax money has gone to uh, basically pimp patriotism at uh, professional sporting events. So, for example, they'll have somebody from the Army come and drop a puck at an NHL game or throw the first pitch at a, a Major League Baseball game, or there'll be a flyover or you know, someone from the military singing. And we the thought they were just band. honoring the servicemen. Yeah, you would think, except these billionaire NFL owners are you know, getting a couple hundred thousand dollars for having a flag fly over their stadium, it's, it's really disgusting. What happened to living for fun? 
great things can be done, we can be free. Why can't they see what I see? I just wanna own fun things, live each and every day. Go on world trips, especially to Japan. Instead, I find myself worrying about the bread. I find myself racing without fans to try and rein in my plans. I just wanna live, love, and spread some bread. So please, Lord, bless the living, cause the dead are dead. I'm here today, fuck tomorrow. You can take cash money, borrow. You sure as shit can't do that with time. So fuck the race, let's win it together. So we can live, love, and pass some bread together. Stop prioritizing yourself and your needs and let's live. We can do all things as a team. Just ask untouchables. What am I? What draws my admiration? What is that which gives me joy? Baseball. A man. A man stands alone at a plate. This is the time for what? For individual achievement. There he stands alone. But in the field, what? Part of a team. Teamwork. 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 Looks, throws, catches, hustles, part of one big team. Bats himself to live long day. Babe Ruth, Ty Cobb, and so on. <laughs> Team don't field. What is he? <laughs> you follow me? No one. Sunny day stands up full of fans. What does he have to say? I'm going out there for myself. <laughs> but I get nowhere unless the team wins. Team. Jesus Christ. Pop, pop, pop. Let's road trip like dumb and dumber. Lloyd, what are you doing? It feels like you're running at an incredible rate, Harry. Quit it. We're not even through Connecticut yet, and already you're annoying me. Sorry. Jeez. We're really doing it, though, aren't we, buddy? Yeah. Let's build bunks like Step Brothers. This is a bad time. So what the hell's going on? Ma, Mr. Doback. Okay, Dale and Please I were just... Stop calling me Mr. Doback. Okay. Sorry. Okay, Mom, Doback. We think it would be very prudent... Can we turn our beds into bunk beds? Yes. Why are you guys so sweaty? All right, we've already figured out how to do this. The beds match up perfectly. And here's the thing, it'll give us so much extra space in our room to do activities. Please say yes. You don't need permission from us to build bunk beds. You're adults. You can do what you want. So... I'm not making myself clear. I don't give a fuck. Now, you both have several interviews tomorrow. I would think you'd be focused on that and not building bunk beds. <laughs> so, so we... we can? No? Yes. Yes. Sweet. You can make bunk beds. I knew it. Okay, you guys are not going to regret this. We're going to get so much more activities done. This is the funnest night ever. <laughs> this is so scary. How you doing over there? Really good. Okay. Did your son know anything about carpentry? No, not a, not a. Did I hear a drill? Dale. Power tools. Dale, no power tools. Oh, what? No power tools. You know what? I forgot to brush my teeth. That is not your toothbrush. Oh, okay. Well, I'm all done anyway. We did it. We did it. It looked amazing. Look at that. That looks like what you would buy from a store. It should have been. Look a at all this floor space. So much. Your robots in here. So many activities. 
do step class. It's making my head spin. How many activities we can do? Play army man. Yeah. This is how we do it. Da, 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 da. Hey, I never asked you. Yeah. You like guacamole? Oh! Oh, oh God! Run! Run! Dead. And fix relations like Dupree. Hey, how are you? First of all, thank you for giving me the opportunity to come talk to you on career day. Now, I am not Mr. Carl Peterson, and I don't have a career per se. I guess you could say my career is living and loving, and I do that to the utmost. Is she coming? Keep going? Okay. I see all you fresh-faced kidlets sitting there in your neat little rows, and you're all just pods, pods waiting for your instructions. Now, some of you are going to get zapped right away and be 15-year-old prodigies, little midget Olympic gymnasts with their pictures on cereal boxes. Some of you will go on to college, and you'll find your rhythm there, and then go chase down the titans of industry, or maybe straighten out our problems at the UN. But some of you, and this is the group that no one ever comes into career day and addresses, and it's criminal. Some of you are just going to float along, eating spicy foods, humming black people's music into your 30s, well into your 30s, languishing. This group of pods is going to do a lot of languishing, and you're going to take some heat for it. Sadly, you will. Europe's a little easier. I seem to understand a little better. So South America. I went to Argentina one time, and everyone just seemed to be sitting around. It was beautiful. But that's okay. You stay loose. Stay liquid. You laugh a lot. But be ready. That's what Dupree's doing with his life's little pod. Staying nimble. Until I get the call from the mothership. I resume the dot. Then I fight. Then you'll see Dupree coming in here throwing seven different kinds of smoke. <laughs> That's fine. The pods that were supposed to hear this did. It'll kick in when it needs to. I'm done here. And build a family business like Ben Mala.
A man named Forrest Gump, a gardener from Greenville, Alabama, stopping only to sleep, has been running across America. Charles Cooper brings us this report. For the fourth time on his journey across America, Forrest Gump, the gardener from Greenville, Alabama, is about to cross the Mississippi River again today. I'll be Sir, where are you running? Why are you running? Are you doing this for world peace? Are you doing this for the homeless? Are you running for women's rights? Or for the environment? Or for animals? They just couldn't believe that somebody would do all that running for no particular reason. Why are you doing this? I just felt like running. I just felt like running. And a little of Dupree, this I decree. The Lord is one to forgive, so stab someone else because it's time to live. Damn it, I don't want to get us there alone, but I feel I have to. Because everyone's personally committed and scared to make choices a priority. What? Uh, 